What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the TIE Reaper, a troop transport used by the Galactic Empire. It was manufactured by Sinar Fleet Systems, the same people that made all of the other TIE variants. At a length of 33.9 meters, or 111 feet, it was nearly twice the length of the LAAT gunship, while at 47 meters, or 154 feet wide, it was almost two Millennium Falcons across. And at a height of 11 meters, or 36 feet, it stood about a Wookiee taller than an ATST. With a top atmospheric speed of 950 km per hour, or 590 miles per hour, it was the exact same speed as the Upsilon class shuttle, putting it in between a TIE bomber and a TIE fighter. As per the name, this speed was generated via twin ion engines, which were assisted via the solar collector panels that made up its wings, in addition to the power cells that were located in the body of this ship. At the end of each of these wings, we can find a laser cannon, and if we look towards the back of this ship, we see the access hatch and the magnetomic locking mechanism that would hold this ship in place when it was in hangar bays, while also acting as the pivot point so that the wings could fold slightly up and down for vertical takeoff and landing. Its lack of shielding and minimal firepower made it an easy target for enemy ships, often forcing it to fly with escorts, especially when you consider that this ship was likely to carry 60 troops. Even though there are no official stats on the amount of troops that it could carry, I think it could carry around 60, because the LAAT could carry 30 troops, and the one-fifth the size TIE variant, the TIE boarding shuttle, carried at least 12 troops. If you then consider that this ship might contain elite forces, like death troopers, and were most often used to deliver crucial assets to flashpoints on a battlefield, and you can see why criminal and rebel forces would often direct fire at the TIE Reaper, making those escorts almost mandatory. But the TIE Reaper was not just restrained to combat zones, as its troop carrying potential and quick speed made it a great ship for policing cities or patrolling key areas where they could unleash dozens of Imperials to quell riots or bust criminal activity. We saw one of these ships above the bustling streets on the Ring of Kafrin, and then later patrolling the laboratories on Iadu, and Krennic used one of these to deploy his squadron of death troopers to eliminate Rogue Squadron and stop their plans to infiltrate the Citadel Tower. After the dust settled on Scarif, some troopers used this ship to desert the Empire, and then years later in 34 ABY, long after the Empire had fallen, the rank gang on the planet Kadak was using these ships along with their fleet of uglies, craft that were cobbled together from different parts of other ships. So that's it for its history, and the only cool behind the scenes facts is that this ship was designed by Doug Chang, one of the lead artists from the prequel trilogy, and the man who created the LAAT, along with many other ships. So that's it for the TIE Reaper, but most important of all, remember, always focus your fire on the unshielded transports, and the force will be with you, always.